Negotiating with a seller is probably one of the most advanced and hardest things for you to know to become successful in wholesaling and flipping. And the, the 23 year old newbie with zero properties ain't gonna stand a chance against the big guys like me going into the same meeting. It ain't gonna happen. My name is Matt Pichet, AKA The Fruitful Investor. I grew up in a middle class family and all I've ever wanted was freedom. By the age of 30, I became a self-made multi-millionaire, all from real estate investing. Follow me on my journey to travel the world when I want, where I want, while continuing to build a killer real estate business. Let's get it. What's up, Fruitful Investors? In this video, I'll be talking about why wholesalers in 2020 are ruining the real estate investing industry. Ooh, this is gonna be a touchy subject. I got a lot of friends who are wholesalers, I'm not really talking about them specifically in this video, just wholesaling in general. Dude, everybody and their goddamn mother is becoming a wholesaler in 2020. It's getting a little crazy and it's getting a little trendy. So why is it getting so trendy? I'm gonna go over some reasons why here and then we're gonna talk about at the end what you should do. Okay, so number one, if you wanna be a real estate investor. Number one, why are there so many wholesalers? This is all like myths, by the way, I'm going over here. I'm gonna put requires little to no money. Dude, it's so easy to be a wholesaler. Like, just go knock on doors and stuff. Okay, total lie that becoming a wholesaler requires little to no money. By the way, just backtracking a little bit, just so you guys know, if you don't know, I'm a wholesaler. So I'm technically, well, not technically, I am a real estate agent specializing with real estate investors in my local area, but we also have a whole entire wholesaling division to find our flips. So we do about 15 to 20 flips a year and we're sourcing our own deals off market to do our flips. So I'm a wholesaler, so I can talk all about this stuff. So requires little to no money, absolute lie. It takes a ton of money. Okay, watching hundreds of Matt's free YouTube videos are great and you'll learn a ton. But if you want to actually build a real business that provides you freedom and wealth, you need to level up. In Matt's courses, you'll learn the real strategies that he uses every day to actually move you forward and become financially successful just like him. Sorry, but Matt can only give so much free stuff on YouTube. Click the links below and get access to everything now. Here's a peek inside. In unlimited cash, learn the exact strategies he uses to build a social media and online brand to dominate your local area. People will literally beg to invest and partner with you. Also get access to Matt's material list and fruitful renovations, so you'll know exactly what to buy and where to buy them. Your renos will never be challenging again and your properties will look exactly like his. And if you're really serious about your future, book a one-on-one -on -one call or better yet, an in-person coaching session. So stop waiting. Success is waiting for you on the other side. Click the links below. Now enjoy the rest of your YouTube video. To become a wholesaler and a flipper, if you wanna do it right and actually be a full-time investor, it takes a ton of money. I'm not gonna give you all my secrets, but just to give you some context, last month alone, I spent about 10K on marketing. And I think we got two deals from that. How many people, like generally, who are just starting off, like they're, what, what it normally is too, is like younger people or people who have zero properties. They're like, oh, I'm become a wholesaler. <laughs> I'll get into that in a bit. But, they're, but what that usually means is they don't have a lot of money, right? They're working like a normal job, they have a normal life. They're like, I can be a wholesaler. I saw some dude on YouTube do it. I can do it too. If you really wanna penetrate the market and actually build a business, this is like one of the most expensive businesses and marketing businesses that I've found yet. Like we, I have a couple other businesses, a marketing business, my real estate agent business, my JV attraction business to buy long-term buy and hold real estate. Those mar businesses are actually little to zero marketing dollars. I spend zero dollars on all those businesses. On this business, like I said, monthly I spend 10K or more. Now again, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you all my secrets because people watching this are probably like around my local area. I'm not gonna tell you how I'm doing that, but pretty self-explanatory, but uh, I'm spending quite a bit of money. And that's the only way to do it if you really wanna penetrate the market and gain dominance. Why? Because you have to get people's trust. We're doing something a little weird that a lot of people find is scammy, right? You send out flyers, whatever. People get a flyer in the mailbox and they're like, who the fuck is this person? Like scam in the bin, 
right? So you need to be hitting them over and over and over again. The whole secret, I guess I will be giving secrets. The whole secret with this business is over and over and over again. So it takes about six, seven, eight times for a homeowner to get your specific flyer and be like, oh, I got this flyer like eight times. I thought they were a scam the first few times, but it's been like eight months now. I think I might call them now because now I'm starting to trust them a little bit. Dude, that's the whole name of the game with wholesaling. So if you have like no money to spend on marketing, how are you gonna beat out the real people like me in your area who are just dominating and getting market dominance, which means we're spending a ton of money for sellers to recognize us and wanna work with us. Because again, the general public thinks this is all scammy, scammy shit, that there's not actually people buying houses, they're doing something, I don't know what it is, I'm not gonna call them. You gotta do it over and over and over again. So if you're doing, number two here, if you're doing your little dinky 1,000 to 10,000 flyer campaigns, 10,000 flyers is like an okay size campaign, but a lot of people are doing like 1,000, 3,000, it's all I can afford, dude. Sending out 3,000 flyers was like three grand. Yeah, exactly. It takes a lot of money. And if you only do it once, you're like, oh, it didn't work, nobody called me, I'm never doing it again. You just lost 3K. But what you're actually doing when you do your dinky little campaigns, and there's so many goddamn people right now doing their dinky little campaigns. What that's actually doing is hurting the whole industry, it's hurting you, but it's also hurting the real investors like me who are actually real investors who can actually buy deals. Because here's what happens all the time now in my area and just Southwestern Ontario in general. When I go to an appointment, when a seller calls me and says, hey, I, I got your flyer, like I do want to sell, come over to my house. I go there, I talk to them, you know, we, we do the whole thing. I'm not gonna give the secrets on what I, how that goes, but we do our thing, we do our pitch, and then they go, yeah, I don't know about your price, you know? I got four other flyers right here, by the way. I got four other flyers. I'm gonna call them first, and then I'll get back to you. There's a lot of people that wanna buy my house. That's how the sellers feel, they're all jacked up. Because the, the real estate market in general is on fire. Everybody knows it, nobody's dumb. But now the private market is also on fire, so they think. Because the sellers are getting all these fucking flyers, they're going, ha ha, I got four flyers, I'm gonna call these four people after you. So they think they got leverage, and they don't. Why? 90% of the other flyers, the dinky flyers, they're not real investors. They're just poking around, poking their nose. Maybe they can do one or two deals a year, but they're giving the seller a false, you know, I don't know, false trust that there's so much demand. These guys can't close. They're gonna pull some shit. They're gonna wholesale it on the seller. They're gonna, oh, I need 10 business days for financing. They're not real. I'm going in there going, dude, I'm gonna buy your house cash today. I can actually buy the cash. I got a million in the bank. I can close tomorrow if you wanted. Oh, but I got four other flyers I gotta call. I'm in demand. You're fucking it up for the entire industry. Anyway, I'm just like venting my personal stuff right now because everybody wants to be a goddamn wholesaler. Wholesaling is a very, very advanced thing, which I'm gonna get into. Okay, number two. So by the way, if you're just dinking around, poking your nose, just, I'm gonna try wholesaling. You're just fucking it up for everybody, yourself included. Okay, number two, the myth. Comfort of your own home. You can do it from your laptop. <laughs> Virtual wholesaling. You don't have to do anything. You can just do it from the comfort of your own home. What this does is it normally attracts younger people, normally ages to 20, 25. Now, dude, I was a young real estate investor, a young successful investor. I know a lot of young successful investors that are crushing it. Not saying you can't become successful at a young age. I was, and I know a lot of other people that are. But what normally happens is people normally ages 20, 25, do they have actually cash to close on a house? Have they built a business and partners waiting on them? you know, who trust them because they built up a business. No, they're ages 20, 25. They probably have done dick. They probably have two or three properties, which is cool. It's more than like 90% of the normal general public. But in the real estate world, you're a newbie. But anyway, everybody's poking around. And again, you're giving the sellers a false entitlement or like a false state of security that everybody's in demand. I got all these 25 year olds who want to buy my house. Yeah, but they can't close because they don't have the actual business. So we're just spending like all of our time um, Educating the sellers. So by the way, just the, I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you're a wholesaler in Kitchener Waterloo, do we know exactly what to say to combat all these fakers? Like, we'll just destroy you. We know exactly what, what to tell the sellers and it works pretty well. But the other big wholesalers, they are, they're doing exactly what I'm doing. They're educating the sellers on, yeah, I know you got four other flyers, but these guys aren't gonna close. And they're just gonna wholesale it on you, which means they're just fucking you with money. We're actually gonna close. 
So we, got, we know what to do to combat that. So just keep that in mind. Because I'm not the only one doing this. Like all the big wholesalers that I talk to, they're all doing the same things. They know, we know how to combat the fakers. But it's just, you're just ruining for everybody. You don't understand. So I'll wrap up at the end of, on what to do. Okay, number three. Anyone can do it. Even part-time. You can just part-time wholesale, dude. You can only, like four hours a week is all you need, dude. You can make 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 dollars a month, part-time. You can, 100% you can. I don't spend that much time on my wholesale business, but I've built the system for 10 years in order to get to the point where I got partners just everywhere. We got money lenders everywhere. Everybody wants to invest with us, it's cool. We got the contracting team, we got everything. So we have the confidence to go into the seller's home and say, we're actually gonna close. We have systems, we have teams, we buy three to four houses every single month. The other guys aren't doing that. I bought one house last year. What, what do you think is gonna happen when I go to the seller and I show them, dude, we buy three to four houses a month and you wanna work with this guy? No. Dude, that's what we're doing. That's, so, that's what I'm saying. So what should you do now that I'm shitting all over wholesalers? And dude, I love wholesalers. Like I said at the beginning, I think it's been like 10 minutes of me just shitting on wholesalers because it's getting ridiculous, guys. It's getting fucking ridiculous because I want you guys to actually succeed. I want you, how you actually succeed is you play chess. What everybody else is doing, all the little wholesalers, I'm gonna try wholesaling. They're playing checkers, which means they want fast cash. You can make 10,000 bucks on one deal? <laughs> no way. Yeah, you can. After you've built the system in place to actually close the deals, sure, you can make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 bucks in an hour. But in order to make that money and get the expertise and the knowledge in order to do that, it normally takes like 10 years, which is chess. What you should do is honestly, if you want to get into wholesaling and flipping, dude, amazing. Like great business, but you got to know what you're doing. Wholesaling, yeah, I guess is a little easier, but most people want to be flippers. Most people want to wholesale and get cheap deals to flip on their own. That's mostly what's going on. And flipping and wholesaling is a very active business, one that takes a lot of skill and very advanced. What you should be doing if you want to be a real estate investor in general and be wealthy in general, start with buy and hold, which is chess. Start with the buy and hold, get your skills ready, Make your mistakes, because you will definitely make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes as a newbie. Make your mistakes in the long-term real estate investing category. Learn in that field. And when you got your team set up, you got your, your realtors, your mortgage brokers, your contractors on lock. You got teams of contractors. You got a project manager hired. You got your accountants. You're on fire. You know what you're doing. You got money lenders, Matt, or whatever. Joe, I saw you on YouTube. Dude, you're crushing. I want to invest with you. Here's my money. When you get people, here's my money, I wanna invest with you. Okay, now it's time to go into the wholesaling. Now it's time to go into the flipping and build the active real estate business. You spent the 10 years building the skills and now you're ready to go. The biggest thing is, is the negotiating. Dude, wholesaling is not easy. Negotiating with a seller is probably one of the most advanced and hardest things for you to know to become successful in wholesaling and flipping. And the, the 23 year old newbie with zero properties ain't gonna stand a chance against the big guys like me going into the same meeting. It ain't gonna happen. It takes so much time for you to build the skills to know what to say, how to actually put a deal together, to have all the knowledge to make things happen. Like I wish nothing but success for you. Like if you wanna become a wholesaler and you're like, fuck you Matt, I heard you for 12 minutes now shitting on me, I'm gonna be a wholesaler anyway. Good, <laughs> you got what it takes. You got what it takes probably, so keep going. But if you're just like, I just wanna, hold, I just wanna see what happens if I do 3,000 flyers. Let's just see what happens. You're wasting your time and you're just pissing everybody off because it's just making it harder for all of us. So if you wanna become a flipper and get into the game, like I said, build the chess game, build the system and get other, the, the real wholesalers to find you the off-market deals. You do the flips from them, get some experience, get the team ready, you'll learn how to negotiate, it'll come with time and then you can start your own wholesaling division and you become a full-time wholesaler or whatever and be a top dog in, in the town. Now you're talking, but again, what I'm seeing is everybody and their mother, like I said, just wants to be a wholesaler. Everybody, I just want to do it. It's just getting stupid, really. And the, it's not even, like I said, we're not, it's not a big deal because if you know what to say and you can actually close, like I said, we're just going to smoke these guys. It's not even really about that. It's just I want people to actually succeed. And then well, what, what's happening a lot is people are doing their 3,000 flyers, their 5,000 flyer campaign. Damn, nobody called me. Real estate's stupid. I always knew it was dumb. I'm not gonna do it ever again. And then they, they just leave the game. They think it's impossible. 
I tried it, it didn't work, I'm out of here. It does work, you just gotta do it in the right order. Build your net worth, get actually wealthy, get success in real estate, own at least 20 rental properties before you start building this wholesale business. Because the wholesale business is active, which means it can change at any time. A recession can come, things in, in the city can change, like a, a big employer can leave, the whole city gets fucked kind of thing. You're not building a strategic business. You're just building an active business. Yeah, you can make 10, 20K a month or whatever as a wholesaler, great. But if something goes wrong, your business is gone overnight. If you're a real estate investor, you have a million net worth, two million net worth, and the town does screw up or the recession comes, no big deal. Like you're wealthy, you got this, the foundation of skills, you can go to the next town, do it over again. You see what I'm saying? I've been rambling on this for way too long, but you get where I'm coming from. Anyway, I just want you to succeed and actually build a real business. I'm not saying everything that I can say in this video because I just don't want to divulge too much, but read between the lines. You know what I'm talking about, okay guys? Build a real business, play chess, then get the active income. I've done it myself in that exact order. It's working out fucking amazing. All my clients, my partners, they're doing it the exact same way. It's working out very, very well. I just don't want to see people get screwed and lose out and say, fuck real estate, I'm out of here, it didn't work. I knew it wouldn't work, I'm out of here. That's the last thing I want to see. Anyway guys, if you like this video, if you learned anything, I hope you did, smash that like button. Also hit that subscribe button so we can see more of each other. I'll see you in the next video.